in today's practice, we're going to just do the one Tai Chi Bong called Repulse the Monkey. Simplest way of thinking about it is monkey is mind that always tells us we need more, we want more, and that we'll only be happy if we have more. And as we all know, happiness isn't when you get something, happiness is when you're just in the moment, enjoying life as it is. Whenever we get something, guess what? We usually just want something more, and then we want something more. So we'll see if we can repulse that monkey, not by arguing with it, but by just allowing our energy to come inwards. So you might like to just take a deep sigh. So the simplest version of repulse the monkey is arms turned up. And we're drawing our elbows into the side of our body. If you look at me from the side, you'll notice back of my knees are soft, feet are pressing down into the ground. You might notice your heel, the balls of your feet, the toes. Crown of the head is lifting up, chin is a little tucked. You feel that gap between shoulders and ears. Let's take a few breaths here before we do anything. So the movement itself is going to involve connecting our hip and our shoulder, these two points in our body. And we're going to roll both of them back as one hand draws out to the side. Then we draw the hand in towards the ear. So we're gathering up our monkey mind thoughts. And then we're going to press out from the heart center, the center of the body, push out. Now, when our hands cross over each other, now our eyes are going to follow the other hand and the other hip and shoulder are going to roll back. When our hip can't move anymore, we draw the hand in. Again, we gather up thoughts outside the ear and we press out, push out. Now, notice that we don't take our arm all the way out. As soon as our palms cross, now our eyes follow the other hand. See if you can just find this rhythm. Notice that palms are always connecting, yin and yang moving towards each other and moving away. As one palm turns, the other palm turns. There's a lot going on here, hey? So, See if you can just find the rhythm of hip and shoulder, the rhythm of eye to finger, the rhythm of breath in and out. Like most Tai Chi forms, lower body is heavy, stable, steady, you might even think of it as consistent or dependable. You're honing all these things in your lower body. Feet aren't really moving, but hips, ankles, knees all working to keep you stable and steady. If you're just moving your arms and not your hips, notice that. You want to really feel that shift of weight from one side to the other. Now you'll see a lot of people when they do this form and they kind of look like they're doing the freestyle. So notice if you're taking your hands behind your head out of the reach of your eyesight. You want your fingers and your eyes to always be connected. Very common for hips to stop moving but hands to continue to move. But when our hip stops moving, that's the point when our arms draw in. Hands always want more, always reaching for the next lolly in the jar, metaphorically. So you might be thinking, this is the simplest version. <laughs> Well, let's explore it a little bit. 
So now if you were doing a 24 set Tai Chi, you would be moving as you do the form. I'll show you how it looks from the side. So we would be stepping back, rolling our hip back, pushing out. Now all the weights on the back foot, as my other foot comes back, my hip rolls back. All the weight on the back foot. So this is what my repulsive monkey looks like in a more dynamic Tai Chi form. Have a go again. Arms in the turned up, elbows in the side of the body. Shift your weight onto one leg. Roll the hip back, step back. When the hip stops moving, draw the hand in, shifting the weight. Keep following the hip and shoulder movement. Keep following the fingers. Step back in. Right. So let's come back to, actually, let's come back on the side. Might as well as explore it from every angle. Take a breath out. All right, when you're ready, roll one hip back. Shoulders stay heavy. And you find that yin and yang relationship with the hands. In the Tao, it says, when you say some things are beautiful, it makes other things ugly. When you describe one thing as good, it means other things become bad. Therefore, the master acts without doing anything and speaks without saying anything. Things arise and she watches them come. Things disappear. She lets them go. She has but doesn't possess. And acts but doesn't expect anything in return. And when her work is done, she simply forgets it. And that's why it lasts forever. You might come back and just shake out a little bit. So just a couple of common mistakes that I always see when people do repulse the monkey. Let me think. Okay, one is when they push out, arm goes out straight, they're leaning out. But you want to have always weight in the back of the body so you're not extending too far. You don't want to be pulled over. You don't want something, you don't want to lose balance. So when you push out, your shoulder's still heavy, your elbow's still heavy. Palm is at 45 degrees, not like a stop sign, more like this. You're pushing down, you're connecting your laudum point in your palm with the earth. Another common one is the freestyle. People taking their arms behind. You'll notice my eyes are looking forward, my hand is behind. So this is giving our body two different signals. Our body wants to go here or wants to go here? I don't know, my body is confused. So we do Tai Chi to lessen confusion to take move away from complexity to understand our body bring our mind and body together so so when my hand comes out to the side i always want my eyes to be able to see my fingers and then i draw in so i'm not going like this i'm going like this i'm bending my elbow my elbow is heavy my fingers are coming in and then i'm pushing 
Another really common one that I see is people doing kind of this, where they're pushing out from the sides, but you want the push to come from heart center. This is where our strength is from the middle. So you're connecting with your wisdom. Wisdom isn't in head, wisdom is in heart, right? So you're connecting with your heart wisdom and you're pushing out, gathering in monkey mind, letting go whatever doesn't serve. Um, repulse the monkey. Hope that made some sense. Let's do our full Tai Chi set now together. Um, repulse the monkey in our eight form, or sometimes called ten form, is the second form that we do. Let's bring our feet together, legs together, arms relaxed by the side of the body. You might like to take a deep sigh to prepare. Crown of the head is lifting up. Balls of the feet are pressing down. Whenever you're ready, sink into one leg. You can mirror me if you like. Step out with the other leg. When the whole foot is on the ground, shift your weight. Now our next breath is going to draw our palms up. And then sink. Sighing out, roll the thumbs, roll the palms up. Now we repulse the monkey. Get your weight onto one leg, extend the arm out, step out, make sure you roll the back here as you push across. Leaning back, we're going to turn our front foot around, shift our weight, extend the arm out wide, step out. Back heel moves as our hip moves, we push across. Lean back, roll the hip, roll the foot, we're shifting our weight, holding the ball. Let's step out. Back heel moves again, and we're parting the horse's mane. All right, see if you can find a little bit of flow. Moving from side to side. Now our cloud hands. Now we lift knee and elbow. Do that heel kick. Grass the sparrows now set up, hold the ball, step out. Now we roll back. Now we push. Lean back. Set up on the other side. Water, roll back, press, and push. Let's open all the way around. We 
give it a turn. But we might just do one more time today. Let's do it in silence today. Deep sigh. We shall practice this drawing loose fist into palm, yang meeting in at heart center, and then of course bow to each other. <laughs> 